Hey, what's up guys? It's Drew. Uh, this video I put together because I found something that I think is really crazy. It's a product of something else I've been working on that I'll be finishing up and putting out soon, talking about easy ways to cheese out the CPU. Now, as I normally do, I find something that seems so unbelievable and crazy, I have to see what's going on and causing it to happen. Here we go. So for this particular method of cheesing out the CPU, I was working on with the male ninjas doing a spear with a delay and an uppercut. Pretty easy stuff, very basic and easy to do. And you see it works on Scorpion, so it works on all the male ninjas. And I wondered to myself, who else is this going to work on? So I started at Kano, and it worked for Kano. Very easy to do. Tried with Sonya, got the spear at the start of the round, and the spear just blew on by. So let's try Jax. Try with Jax, and it works. Uppercut, spear, uppercut. Try with Jax. Very good. Try with Nightwolf, and that's not going to work either. So that's interesting. Unmask Sub Zero. Okay, that works. So essentially what I was doing here was I was going up the character ID list. Started with Kano, who is ID 0, obviously, Sonya, Jax, Nightwolf, and Unmasked Sub-Zero. So when we go and we try to do this with Striker, we find that it doesn't work. That actually blew away my first theory, thinking that it worked on male ninjas and the bigger characters the way some of the other cheesy combos work in this game. So I skipped a few, I went to Shang Tsung, and it's working. That's also interesting, because Shang is one of the smaller characters with a smaller hitbox. Try on Shiva, and it worked. But she also has one of those crazy weird hitboxes, so that could be it too. Tried on Cabal, and it did not work. But then I thought about something. I had a realization. I realized that all the characters were played by three actors. John Parrish, Rich DeVizio, and John Turk. Minus Cabal, of course, and I have my theories as to why. But let's dive in a little bit deeper. So what I'm going to show you now is the hitbox on display for the spear. Shout out to Paul for taking the hitbox's code from MK2 and bringing it into UMK3+. Be sure to check out his channel that I've linked in the video description. So we'll see the spear hitting Kano, and I'm also going to go in slow motion here. See as he's getting up, his toe, or his foot, comes into contact with the hitbox of the spear. And so he's going to get reeled in by it. Let's go to Sonya. Same thing. Spear. Throw it again. Slow motion. Where's her shoes? Nope. She just stays right underneath of it. Jax. Here comes the spear. A little toe tap from the spear. And he gets reeled in. Nightwolf. Same thing. Gonna throw the spear, go into slow motion, and he stays underneath it. Unmasked Sub Zero, John Turk. Here comes the foot. Oh, I got him by the heel. That one got him real good. He's gonna get reeled in. So I'm gonna try this on Striker here. And you'll see how it goes below him the first time. Just misses his foot. But you see how he pops up a little bit higher than the rest of the characters there. So I'm going to try it again. Just a little bit more slowly. Change the timing up a little bit. And you'll see that it catches him. Of course, if you try to do this against the CPU, you'll probably get pummeled. I'd be willing to say that you have as much chance of seeing Michael O'Brien at an MK-related gathering 
as you would this working against the CPU in the later stages of the game. <laughs> so by this point, I'm sure I've wasted five minutes of your time, so let me bring it all full circle. Let's watch Kano, Jax, Unmasked Sub, Shang, Shiva, and the male ninjas get up from off the ground. So what you'll see here is Kano kicking up and returning to his fighting stance. That's some pretty good athletic prowess there by Divizio. Jax is going to do the same thing. Kick up off the ground. I've heard some people call it a kip up. I call it a kick up because it's just easier to say. Some folks call it a kip up. I call it a kick up. Mm -hmm. Unmasked Sub-Zero, John Turk doing his thing. Extending those arms. Kicking up. Back to his fighting stance. Shang Tsung, also John Turk, doing the same thing. Getting right back up. Same technique, too, with the extended arms. Very nice. Returning to his fighting stance there. Shiva, when you're a stop-motion clay figure, you're pretty much as athletic as they need you to be. Scorpion and all the male ninjas doing the same thing, kicking back up. I think you might be catching on to a common theme here. Let's take a look and see what happens with Cabal. It looks like he's going to kick up, but he doesn't. He stays below, the, below what a spear hitbox would be, really. And then Katana, female ninjas, and pretty much every other character in the game... They just roll back up and stand up. So it's really no surprise that John Parrish, Richard DiVizio, and John Turk were the most in shape, strongest, and most athletic of all of the actors that were in MK3 and UMK3. But I just think it's kind of crazy that their athletic prowess that allows them to kick up after being on the ground is what made it so easy to cheese their characters out playing against the CPU. So yes, lots of strength, athletic ability, and martial arts experience is all fine and good, but it doesn't do your digitized characters any favors. <laughs> so that's all I had. Isn't it really something that uh, your athletic ability can absolutely screw over your character? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.